Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with No Need Pizza Dough. The pizza dough video on the site, which I did a million years ago, has been one of the most popular videos, and so I thought I would repost it using the No Need technique that I've fallen in love with. This is so easy, you gotta try this. Quarter teaspoon of yeast, dry active yeast, one and a half cups of tepid water, that's just over room temperature, just barely warm, one teaspoon and a quarter of salt, quarter teaspoon of sugar, a half a cup of wheat flour, and then two and a half cups of white flour. So we're gonna have just a little bit of wheat in there, just to give it a little bit of uh, extra something. And then the white flour, that's just regular all-purpose flour, unbleached of course. Now I should have put in two tablespoons of olive oil here, but I was too busy stirring and I totally forgot. It doesn't really matter as long as it's in there, but just put it in when you put it in all the other liquid ingredients and things will be a little easier for you. But you'll see I worked that in and it was no big deal. And you see that texture. I really want you to pay attention to that texture. See, it's kind of stiff, but extremely sticky. All right, it's not runny. So if you have to add a little more flour, feel free. I'm going to cover that with plastic wrap. I'm going to put a few small holes in it. All right, we're going to leave that. I just left mine in an empty oven for 12 hours. And that's what it looks like when it's done. All right, I'm going to scrape it onto a well-floured board, very well-floured. And you'll see it's so glutinous. That'll scrape right out of that bowl pretty much clean because it really wants to stick to itself. Okay, so it's on the floured board. You're going to flour the top of it generously and just pat it down. That kind of presses out all the air bubbles. I'm going to cut it into four with my little pastry cutter here. And I'm going to take each quarter and just kind of roll it up. All right, I'm going to fold them into these like round little loaves. You're going to put it seam side down on the board. And you're ready to make pizza. Now I'm going to put a couple away here. You can easily just keep these in the fridge for a couple days in plastic wrap like that. Not a problem. All right, now to make pizza, pretty easy. We're going to press that out into like a round uh, shape. You can spin it if you want. A lot of people like stretching it over the backs of their hands like this. But, you know, just grab a roller, roll it out, big deal. All right, from one of those quarters of this dough recipe, you're going to get about a 9 or 10 inch diameter pizza crust. This has a little six inch ruler on this cutter, so that's about nine inches. All right, now here's a trick. You wanna sprinkle cornmeal and pat it in on the dough itself. We're also gonna sprinkle cornmeal, a lot of it, onto this baking sheet because this pizza dough will stick. You wanna put a really good amount of cornmeal down like you see there, almost covered. Then you're gonna flip it over, put the cornmeal side down onto the pan. And that's going to be perfect. All right, I'm making a white garlic pizza. All right, so no tomatoes will be harmed in the making of this pizza. I'm simply going to take two cloves of garlic, crush them, mix it with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and spread that all over this crust. Already you can tell this is going to be great. Anybody got a mint? I'm going to put some black pepper on there. You might want to give it a little sprinkling of salt. Always a good idea. Some dry oregano. You can certainly use fresh herbs if you want, of course. Then I'm going to take... Pepper jack cheese, you can use any cheese you want, but I like pepper jack, it's a little kick. It's a great melting cheese. All right, we're gonna to top that with just a nice dusting of Parmesan, and that's it. All right, so this is gonna go in a preheated 450 degree oven. We're gonna put it right on the bottom of the oven for about six minutes, and that's gonna kind of get that bottom crust nice and toasty and, and charred a little bit. So after the six minutes, you're gonna take it off the bottom of the oven. You can see the bottom forming there nicely. Move it to the middle of the oven. It's only going to go three or four more minutes. All right, the outside is going to be nice and crispy and crusty. The inside, uh, chewy and delicious. I'm going to top it some green onions because it's a garlic pizza. So anyway, there it is. Look at the bottom, crisp, nicely browned. The center has those beautiful air bubbles, the chewy top. What a great pizza dough recipe. So what did I do with that other piece there? Egg pizza. Oh, yeah. Those of you still following the old pizza dough recipe on the site, just forget that. Delete it. Use this new one. It's fantastic. It's easy. It's delicious. You're going to love it. You're going to be able to make pizza dough on a regular basis. So sorry, local pizzerias. Your days are numbered. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. Go to the site. The ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy it.